a proper BMA versus a bad BMA. And this is a big one uh, that I see a lot. Uh, and that is, it is hard as a doctor to do a really good bone marrow aspiration. Why? Because it takes time. You've got to go to multiple bone sites and multiple deaths per bone site, take a tiny amount of bone marrow, and then move on to the next site. And to do a proper bone marrow aspiration in a very experienced provider is going to take probably 25 minutes. To do it with a less experienced provider, probably 35 or 40 minutes. Having said that, you could make this as a provider take two minutes. Um, and that to do that, you would just stick this thing in one time um, and realize a bone marrow aspiration is where we're taking a trocar, which is what's shown there, and we're working it through the bone. Most people think of bone like hard cement. It's really more like soft plastic, so you can work it through the bone. And if you want to make this take two minutes as a doctor to maximize your income, because the patient is, doesn't really know any different, then you just take uh, the amount you need from a single site. The problem is, is that's going to dramatically reduce the number of stem cells you get because anything you're pulling beyond two or three cc's, a little tiny amount, is just peripheral blood. So you're not pulling stem cells. 